our departure flight from Travis Air Force Base is dialed in, theoretically, tomorrow morning at around 6 a.m. We should be boarding a C-5 and uh, flying to Joint Base Pearl Harbor. We should arrive there at around 8.30 a.m. local time and should then be able to pick up our rental car. And according to Joint Base Pearl Harbor passenger terminal, they have a returning flight to Travis on Saturday at around 11.30 p.m. And so if our group makes the decision to return then, that could be promising. We'll have to go with the flow and see what's going on. Those flight availabilities can change and that's one of the key aspects of space day travel. When you're flying with military aircraft or on any DOD aircraft, uh, everything is mission dependent. Everything is subject to changes in the mission demands and so flights frequently get delayed. They can get canceled altogether. There's any number of reasons, whether it's maintenance, or crew, crew rest, crew changes, or mission changes that can affect your schedule. You just have to be very, very flexible. And um, I have the vacation time off. I've already warned my employer, so they're aware that I may be back on Sunday or I may be back on Monday. I might be back on Tuesday. We'll just have to wait and see how it goes. But it looks like the trip's coming together and I'm pretty excited. So about the time you think you're dialed in and ready to leave the office for the day in advance of your big trip, you're not dialed in. You're going back to sign more documents. You're not done, you're not ready to go, but you're close. So this video is a report on what is happening in the lead up to my trip to Hawaii using space available Department of Defense travel. I've got to do this on the fly. We don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna to try to put it together kind of quickly, um, but give you an accurate report on what I'm doing in advance of the trip, which is scheduled to depart tomorrow morning at around 6 a.m. I'll give you the details here in a minute. So I'm not gonna do a fancy screen record. I'm just gonna take a, an image of my computer monitor here. I use the Take a Hop app to submit my travel request form. And I think they charge about $2.50 for the app. It's a very efficient way of submitting your travel request to the passenger terminals you're looking to fly out of. And so I did that last week, not very long ago. I should have done it uh, several weeks ago and I would have been more competitive for the flight that I'm gonna take. Then we started monitoring Travis Air Force's, Travis Air Force Base's webpage their 72 hour schedule. Looking specifically at the 72 hour schedule, this is the flight that we're looking at. I believe this flight was originally scheduled to depart tonight, Thursday night at around 9.30 p.m. It got pushed back to 05.50 tomorrow morning. So that's the roll call time frame. We need to be there and mark ourselves present at least an hour before roll call. So that'll be 4.50 a.m., of course. There's 73 seats tentative. What that tells me is this, prob this is probably a C-5 cargo aircraft. So there should be plenty of seats. I'm guessing there won't be a lot of people competing at 5.50 in the morning for these 73 seats. I'm speculating that we all get on the aircraft, assuming the aircraft is ready to go. The difficulty with 
the C5, is that it is notorious for maintenance issues. And so delays can be pretty frequent with the C5. We'll see what happens. But bottom line is a 450 report time to check in means we're gonna have to get up at ODARC 30 in order to have enough time to drive from the city I live in, Gridley, down to Travis Air Force Base. And I think we're looking at about a two hour drive, but there are some coordinating actions that we need to take before we get there. So the other significant consideration for our travel plans is to begin looking at our return trip. We'll be flying back from Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam Passenger Terminal, assuming everything goes according to plan. So we want to begin looking now at what their 72 hour schedule looks like. The flights that are leaving today don't really help us. Tomorrow doesn't really help us, but Saturday might. And looking at Saturday's flight schedule, there's one flight departing, rather the roll call schedule for 0541. That is way too early. If I was traveling alone, I might do something like that, a real quick turnaround just, just for you know, a gag trip to Hawaii or somewhere, spend the day there, do a flip turn and come back real fast. But I don't wanna be getting up at 3 a.m. two days in a row. That doesn't work for me. However, there is a 9.04 a.m. departure as well as an 11.45 p.m. roll call. This 11.45 roll call would potentially depart within about 60 minutes after roll call. We don't know yet how many seats are available, so we can't determine what kind of aircraft it is. Ordinarily, if you see 73 seats available, it would say 73T for tentative or 73F for firm. That's going to tell you that that aircraft is a C5. Um, we'll have to just keep checking to see how many seats there are, but my guess is that the group that I'm going with, my friends, are going to want to choose to come back on this particular aircraft Saturday night at 11.45. So that's going to be a pretty quick trip. Depending on what the 72-hour report for Pearl Harbor says tomorrow, I may choose to stay another day. I may choose to stay two days. We'll, we'll see. We'll wait and see. So we arrived here at Travis Passenger Terminal on time. We got ourselves signed up and registered. Our original roll call was scheduled for 0530, but that has since slipped to the right, and now it's scheduled for a roll call at 730 a.m., and hopefully it'll actually go at that point. For now, we wait. And that's, that's a normal feature of flying space available. You have to be prepared for delays. Travis Air Force Base has a pretty large passenger terminal. They have, of course, restrooms. They have a couple of restaurants. They're not currently open because it's 5.30 in the morning, but plenty of food, snacks, and other essential items that you need to make your weight just a little more comfortable. Here in the passenger terminal of Travis Air Force Base, getting ready to go to Hawaii with all these people. Hawaii? I thought we were going to Phoenix. We'll, we'll stop over for you. Okay. These folks going onward to Guam. And we are getting ready to go to Hawaii. Just not with us, not this time. Good morning, AMC passengers. My name is Senior Airman Kramer. We will begin gating mission number RJ03 to destination is Joint Base Sikkim, Hawaii. All right. How are we doing? Good, good. Fantastic. Got you. You are set. Thank you. There you go.
So we made it to the passenger terminal here at uh, Hawaii. Chris, how was the flight? I kind of figured I would fall asleep for six hours and wake up and I'd be in Hawaii. Not but so much. It didn't work out that way. Had a hard time trying to sleep, but it was a good flight. Good. How was the flight? It's kind of uncomfortable. Yeah. You don't have to wear your mask anymore unless oh. you just want to be incognito. <laughs> <laughs>